As a general public, one thing you can think about is don't blow off the flu season. It's a message that can't be overstated. Dr. Amesh Adalja is a senior scholar at Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. He predicts the next global pandemic will be respiratory. So we do have a lot of kindling for a pandemic, and it could lead to massive societal disruption, massive economic losses. You can look at, for example, SARS, which wasn't really a pandemic. It circled the globe in 2003, uh, infected about 8,000 people, and we had billions and billions of dollars of losses because of all the economic disruption that occurred. He says it's up to all of us to take charge of our own health and be educated about our own illnesses. So we've got to get much better at diagnostic testing and patients need to start saying, I'm not satisfied with just a diagnosis of a virus. Is there another viral test? I want to know which virus I have. I think that's an important thing that people can start to do. And it's important to recognize that small towns are not immune to infectious diseases because it only takes one traveler to start the spread. People need to think about infectious diseases in a way that will keep them prepared for them and not surprised by them and actually invest in protecting themselves and their communities against infectious disease threats, whether that, that's something like measles, which is coming back because of the anti-vaccine movement, or some novel virus that, that comes from the other part of the world. It's all kind of the same type of preparedness that needs to occur.